Hi guys, welcome to Wednesday Quickie. I am Booger and this is a potato pancake mix that we're gonna try in the air fryer. That's what I do. There's no air fryer instructions on the back of a lot of this stuff, so that's what I convert it to. I, I figure it out. So we're gonna see if that works. Comfort food for the soul. I'm not gonna say that word, okay? But it, it ends with wits. That's that for sure, okay. So let's follow the directions. It says to scramble two large eggs. That's what I did with a fork. Two and one quarter cups of cold water and the contents of this package and we're going to let it sit for three four minutes and it just says to put some oil in there and fry it in some vegetable oil i'm going to use olive oil that's what i do so you guys ready you guys want to see this one yellow if you still watch there it is we miss you buddy all right so two eggs two and one quarter cups of cold water and this stuff I found this at our commissary store on base, military uh, grocery store. Alright, it's cool. I've never had potato pancakes, so this is a first for me. I can't remember, I think I paid like two bucks something or it wasn't that expensive. It's got little bits of cheese or something in there. Let me read this. Um, says to serve it with either plain or applesauce, syrup, or jam, or sour cream. So I'm going to do sour cream. All right, let me mix this up, and then I'll change the angle to the air fryer, and we'll go from there. So about five minutes, you stir it, and now uh, it's pretty thick. It, you saw how runny it was, and look how thick it is right there. Huh? All right, so there's a couple different ways that I, you could do this. Because it's a little runny, it's going to spread out, right? So these are, are for um, like egg McMuffins, all right? If I can find them on Amazon, I'll put a link to it, but you, you can get a different kind there. I can't remember where, those, I've had those for a while. And you, or you could do it this way. That uh, fits in the air fryer pretty good. It's actually for, um, what do they call those, pressure cookers. But um, yeah, it works well in the air fryer, silicone. So there's that, and these are silicone as well. I've used those before, individual cups. So you can drop your potato pancakes in those. That's if you want to. All right, so we're gonna heat this up first. I'm gonna spray some olive oil in those beautiful little circles. And let's heat it up and then we'll drop some in there. All right, number four, bottom on, highest setting on your air fryer in a minute. Probably about four minutes. All right, we're talking four minutes. If you're not in a hurry, I would put this in the fridge and it'll have time to thicken up a little bit. So this is an ice cream scoop, just that way I got the same measurements everywhere. And just from the looks of it, it may not run at all. So you may not need these rings. I don't know. I'm going to try it without the rings, though. Let me put a little bit more in that one, a little bit more in this one. All right. So I'm going to fry that up a little bit because it's got a bottom burner. I don't have to flip it. Uh, I'm going to spray the tops of this with some uh, olive oil spray. I usually wait a couple minutes, but it doesn't have a batter, so let's just do it that way. Let's just keep the settings as they are, highest setting, and uh, I'll let you know how long I do that. All right, you guys, after a couple minutes, I took the ring off of there, and look at it. It's doing pretty good. All right, don't touch that with your bare hands now, but we don't need the rings. That's good news. I'll be back. I'm going to wait till it's golden brown. guys so we're talking about 10 minutes and that looks good oh yeah and it's all set you know you don't need the rings and the bottom looks good too Ooh, hot see that beautiful let me turn this off um you don't need the rings we found that out but i have so many ideas with these rings like with hush puppies just drop hush puppies in those rings because that's a little runny too uh, mini pancakes I don't know I, I've got so many ideas but I will make an egg McMuffin anyways we're reviewing those stuff let me plate that up that's the rest of them two batches and uh, I'll taste it for you go aren't they cute oh my gosh look at the bottom 
look at that. Oh. Again, I've never tried it. I don't know what it is. I mean, it's potatoes, so. I'm gonna try it as is so I can review the product per se. Let me cut a piece of this. Nice and fluffy. Wow, it looks like pancake. Look at that. Wow. Holy cow, that is delicious. Whew. That just screamed inside my taste buds. Mmm. It's fluffy potato. It's like a mashed potato in there. Nice, light, crispy outside of it. It's delicious. It's a little salty, though. How much salt is in there? 22%, 500 milligram. It's a little salty, so there's that. Maybe the sour cream and all that stuff will help. I don't know if the homemade ones are supposed to be salty, but this is uh, it's pretty good, but just, just be aware it's a little salty, so the sour cream would help. Very, very nice though. Um, you don't need the little rings there, but I mean, you know, it did a perfectly round shape like that, as opposed to a no ring. <laughs> All right. So there you go. Thanks for shopping. Bye-bye.